All right, mate, so here we are. It's eight o'clock in the morning in Cape Tribulation, and we're taking our second uh, reef snorkeling tour here in uh, the Down Under on the, on the Queensland coast here, where the reef is. As you can see, this one's a bit of a smaller operation than we had in Cairns, where it was like an airport. It's got one little place here. One little shop. That's where we're going. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so um, first of all, good morning everyone. Welcome to Ocean Safari. My name is Tom. This is Freddie. My name is Teddy. We're going to be um, your tour guides today, taking you guys out to the beautiful Great Barrier Reef. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. The skipper for today, uh, who's going to be driving the boat, will be Brett. So he's down on the boat now, he's going to meet us down on the beach. So obviously guys, being in a very remote area like Cape Tribulation, we don't have any big fancy marinas or anything like this to get us on board the boat. So what we're going to do is take a little walk through the jungle down to Mile Beach. Once we get onto the beach, we'll take a right turn, walk up the beach a couple of hundred metres or so to where there's a little gap in between the reef. Brett's going to drive the boat in, into the, um, as close as he can to the beach for us. We're going to collect everyone's shoes into a little box and uh, we'll hop up onto the boat, guys. Okay, so this disembarkation for the, uh, for the snorkel tour is a lot less uh, formal. A lot less airport like than it was in Cairns. And uh, we walk across the street. And we're gonna get on the boat on the beach. Just like Normandy. <laughs> hey, look, is this called Public Toilet Street? Looks like a street sign, mate. We're getting ready to go. It's a little windy today. Have a bit of chop. There's the boat. Bloody hell, there's a croc on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many times have you heard that, Joe? Well, that you. was you this morning. They keep down on. Cape Tribulation Beach. Yeah. This morning. Yeah. Yeah. I went to go fuel the motor, right, and we see massive shoes. <laughs> <down. laughs> Alright, this is how you get on Cape Trip. A bit different than the harbour in Cairns. A little more exciting. We're actually touching the water. These are the waters that are full of crocs, by the way. The ones that you're not supposed to touch in the daytime. But here we are. It's our favourite. It's about, it is. It's feeding season for the crocs. It's part of a new Queensland government incentive to save a few dollars on uh, rehabilitation. Just feed the, uh, the bloody yanks to the, uh, the crocs out here on the beach. Are you ready for some real adventure, mates? It's coming up, the firing up the engines. They should call this the Miami Vice Drug Smuggler Experience. I think they get more people than that. Just that is going to look at the reef. Okay, this may look like fun in the vid, but this was bone shattering, bone shattering boating right here. Just getting slammed into the deck over and over again. Bloody hell, mate. Look, look at this next shot. Mum and I, we were smiling a little bit, but uh, in reality, we were a little scared. This was, we felt like we we're about to go fly right out of the boat. Oh, here it comes. This is super slow mo, but. Uh, Mum and I were like, what is this? Are we going to die today? This can't be good. And then the, we hit a big wave here and we like freak out. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, there's never a bad time to learn a new skill. Did you ever think to yourself, I wish I knew how to crochet? Maybe I wish I knew how to program a website. 
or I wish I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a baller, I wish I had a girl who was nice, I would call her, I wish I had a rabbit and a hat with a bat and a six for a baller. <laughs> There's everything on here. There's another course I really thought was interesting. Uh, find your style, five exercises to unlock your creative identity by Andy J. Pizza. Okay, for starters, his name is Pizza, so you gotta give that course a try, okay? But what I like about this one is it's not specifically about how to do Photoshop better, how to do editing better. It's about finding your voice online. And Skillshare is the most dingo style way to learn a new skill. For the first thousand subscribers who click on the link below, you get a completely free 30 day trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring the Bob Dingo channel. And now back to the show. Anybody else need some fins, guys? All right, so we're at the first reef stop for this knock. What's this reef called, by the way? Mackay Reef. Mackay Reef. And the next one? Mackay Reef. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a turtle beach over there, you see that? They're not allowed to go there, though. They see the turtles uh, have their uh, eggs out there. Let's get, well, let's get in, first stop. Just jumping into the water here was such a relief. It's super hot up in Cape Trib and super humid, but you can't get in the water because it's full of crocs. So the jump in was just like an incredible relief after being here for like a week and not getting in. The coral itself was not uh, not the greatest, I gotta say. Uh, a lot of bleaching. We did see this cool ray though. They always stay hidden, so it's rare to see one. And uh, these giant clams. It's hard to tell in the vid, but a lot of these were like six foot across. These clams, they're huge. They make a tasty food right there. And then we have the, the wildlife sheep. Yeah, wave so grass fell in the water, huh? Look how mom swims. How oh, may we? The life of the sea. That's, that's Jacques Dinger right there. <laughs> So yeah, the coral was a bit of a disappointment because uh, the Great Barrier Reef is supposed to be the best in the world, obviously, and uh, quite a bit of bleaching. But there was still a bit of colour in there, and the giant clams were probably the height. There's the beach right over there, mate. It's right behind me. There's the beach. I haven't seen any turtles yet, but they're going to be anywhere. The bloody turtles are going to be by the beach. So we don't have anything else to find a couple. Besides the bleaching of the coral, we didn't see much, uh, many fish either. We saw like this one and uh, this school of like blue fish. But you have to remember that the Great Barrier Reef, the GBR, there's no cities near it. So it's basically all alone. There's no ships, no cities nearby. I expected it to be loaded with fish. A little bit of a disappointment though. The water, on the other hand, was glorious. Okay, now we're at reef number two. Well, it's really on the other side of the sandbar here. And hopefully we'll see turtles. They say they're everywhere here. They're actually nesting on the beach, you can see them there. So there's got to be some in the water, right? Uh, time for the big splash. Yeah, going down under the water. So now we're in uh, reef number two, which is really just the other side of the little island. And it kind of looked the same. There were a few more clams. A couple of different fish. We've got this one uh, nibbling. Uh, there's another clam. These are really cool. The edge of the lips of the clam are like iridescent. Uh, you can't see it too closely there, but they were really pretty. I wonder what they taste like. I've never seen one in a restaurant. They must not be very good. And I was following this fish a bit. You know, once again, a lot of bleached coral here. And a turtle, we found one. There's the bloody turtle. They're supposed to be everywhere. We couldn't find one. So I followed this one a bit, and then I ran out of air and uh, had to go to the surface. <laughs> I was joking. But look at that thing. It's great. Okay, so we finally spotted a turtle out here. These critters, man, I tell you. These critters don't want to be seen in the summer months in Australia. That's for sure, mate. But we saw one, we saw a turtle. We saw a turtle. But the giant clams here are kind of cool. The giant clams are cool, and then also the... Uh, this thing right, the blue, uh, the, the white thing right with the blue on its back, I've never seen one of those. Saw that one, that was nice. Yeah. 
and then I saw a lot of a diversity of coral I've never seen before. But I bet you it's quite impressive in its uh, cool state and everything like that. But, but it is a bit bleached, Mike. Yeah, the water is warm. <laughs> the water is perfect. Yeah. It sucks so hard that you can't go on the beach here because of the bloody crocs. Yeah. There you go, mate. There's the reef up in Cairns. No, Cairns. No, Cairns. I should say Cairns. Point Trib. Point Trib. Cape Trib. Cape Trib. Cape Trib. Cape Trib. <laughs> So there you go, mate. There's the reef up in Cape Trib. And this is nice thing. The water is really nice. Well, the water's perfect. I wish we'd go on that little beach over there. We're free of all the crocs, just enjoy. Well, they, they say but now we can't. All right. Let's take another look down under, mate. Okay, back to the Miami Vice speedboat experience. The skipper said that it was supposed to be smoother in the back. Yeah, and his bloody dreams, mate. Still getting thrashed around back there. And it's so it's such a startling change to go from like the calm of floating in the water to getting thrashed around in the back of the boat. It was just like really yin and yang. Yin and yang. And then back to the beach. Oh, it's warm. Crocs. Big Crocs. There's a croc on the beach. So are you guys part of the uh, PK? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we need a We need a to part of We're mixed tonight. Yeah. yeah. Is it too hot just to uh, sleep in your camper van or not? But it was pretty cool last night. Yeah. We try to keep the windows open and sometimes the door. Yeah, more what do you reckon happened with those feisty sheilas? What happens in Cape Trib stays in Cape Trib. Bloody hell, mate. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Dingo Down Under. Until next time.